What's up? Welcome to another episode of Dev Talks with your host Travian. We talk about everything engineering and technology wise, and we're here with another fine week, man. It's a lot's going on. A lot's going on right now. So much that I'm able to record two episodes in advance because going somewhere else nice again and got another vlog to record and a bunch of stuff to edit. So I'm definitely just sitting in, tuning in and trying to get as much stuff out as possible. And things. Speaking about getting content out impossible, we're talking about somewhere where I post these episodes frequently today, YouTube. So I wonder how YouTube is going to take this and everything. So a lot, I, I've heard some news back in the day about ad blockers and things about YouTube and all this other funny jazz and things. And I, my main question was why? And in this episode, we're going to talk about why and how and what is the reason for all of this. So, you know, grab your snacks, everything, let's sit down, tune in, and let's dive right in. All right. So, yeah, if you didn't hear from the intro and stuff, or you're skipping it or whatever was going on i did say that right youtube is coming down on ad blockers and this affects not that many people but it affects a lot of people at the same time it in many different ways it's kind of weird on how this is going to play out but i've seen a lot of different stuff around this so first things first Probably around two months ago, maybe more, I did hear that YouTube was trying this uh, out in different countries and stuff to see how users would respond and whatnot, but they weren't trying it in America because they probably have a lot of people in America and it's too large of a place to bring this to test or trial and whatnot. So this, this actually was a thing months ago that they were trying to figure out and stuff. And now it's US's turn, and which is why if you don't watch YouTube on a PC, you will not know nothing about this really. Uh, like this will barely even affect you. Uh, you won't have any problems around it and whatnot. So that's why I'm saying it's going to affect a lot of people, but it doesn't because it really depends on what you're doing, who you are, and what kind of people are using this all. Um, these ad blockers and watching YouTube from their PCs and whatnot. So uh, just to clarify some stuff that's happening around this, for starters, uh, recently, even I, I, I go on YouTube, I'm on my PC a good amount of times, so almost every day. Uh, I sit down on my PC, there I'm doing stuff, work on the podcast, or if I'm just watching something on the side on another monitor, and I just have YouTube up. and I happen to watch something, have something up on my YouTube, and it started this week in October, uh, about probably the 16th of October is when I got this message first. So I just clicked on a video and stuff, and then I see a pop-up appear. Now, I have ad blocker because I, I go through a lot of articles. I go... I'm either reading a lot of articles, whether it's about the tech, tech industry and whatnot, or just watching some investment news or looking at investment stuff. And then also for if I'm on my PC, um, I'm typically watching something that I'm super interested in or whatnot. So I don't want an ad to like really bother me, especially another reason is when I was streaming, I didn't want ads to pop up and whatnot and i know a lot of youtubers and streamers uh who i'll get to more information around this later use this so that they're able to react to certain content on youtube and whatnot so that like i just sat there one day and i clicked on a video and boom pop-up appears and now it does a little loading to make sure that i'm watching a video or not, but I just clicked the X and I saw some information about this saying that if you ignore this pop-up message enough times without 
uh, doing what they're saying for you to do. They will just block your playback and you won't be able to watch like the video or whatever until you either disable the ad block, add YouTube on the allow list, or you try premium or YouTube Red premium, something like that, whatever their subscription services, which takes away ads, that is um your options, basically, that they give you. It has this whole layout and things like that, but like it tells you to try uh, YouTube Premium or Red, whatever it's called, and you know how that is. You try something for three months, and then you forget about it, and then now you're comfortable and whatnot. I'd probably rather go back to the ads, honestly, if that's the point. But that is something that was just on my PC. Like, if I'm on my PC, I'm in a very working mood. Um, I'm getting a lot of stuff done. I'm figuring a lot of things out. I just want to sit there and enjoy stuff, have, be, have something in my own little vibe and whatnot. And this can be something that disrupts that. And so I'm particularly not okay with this. And... Like I said, um, this is going to affect a bunch of other people who are on their PCs. Like, Likewise, I'm a software engineer. And I know a lot of software engineers that just have stuff up on their PC. And they're doing some stuff off the of PC. I, I know streamers. I've interviewed a streamer. If you haven't seen the video, I interviewed Scum TK. He's a real good friend of mine and stuff. We hung out recently and things. He is going to be affected by this. And whatnot but th this can cause an overall problem and it could i'm not going to say it causes more toil for people because it's not creating so much more work it's just an inconvenience and one thing that i've learned about everything is people don't want to be inconvenienced at all like if you were inconvenienced it, it's a red flag it's a flag on a play like you you don't want it you don't want to be around it and mainly now like even after netflix changed their subscription thing where it can be one a household that was an inconvenience but it found a way for them to get more money and i said other places may not do this yet but they may get to it well this is kind of an example of youtube being like hey we need to show our ads and you see that you're going to pay for it or you're going to watch the ads and it, this is going to be able to force people to do that because as I said, I saw a screenshot on one of the, these articles that I was reading of a person tweeting out that they YouTube told them that they only can watch three more videos before they turn off their playback and stuff. And you can't get it back until you, you turn the ad block off or whatever. And this is worrying also because I remember uh, a little while ago, there was this big thing about how there's some scam, uh, there's some scam advertisements that are on YouTube, and these things can be dangerous. It can cost you money. Like people can scam you out of stuff, trick you into th things, and like that. And like, and honestly, YouTube is such a mature company to see an advertisement that you can be scammed off of or things like that is very bad because a lot of people are going to be so trusting off of YouTube and seeing the advertisements that aren't it, are on it. But this was a thing before. And guess what? All those people who had ad blocker on didn't see them. Yes, I know people who are YouTubers rely on these ads for money and these ad companies rely on this for revenue and YouTube relies on this for revenue and all these other great things and amazing things and stuff, but it, it doesn't affect a lot of people. And I'm going to get into the numbers on this after I finish ranting about the whole thing about there are YouTubers out there that um, are trying to run up a bag that have in a 10 minute video, 15 minute video have, can have like 20 ads in there. And then you can see all the little things in there ad blocker you don't have to deal with that now i can enjoy this without that in my peace i'm in peace i'm saying I, I can just do that in peace half the time when i'm on my phone i don't even click on the video because i don't want to watch an ad i'll just watch it off the little screen right there or just listen to it and things so i don't have to watch it interrupted and 
I'm not on YouTube all day, but that is where I get some of my entertainment and knowledge from. And I hope you guys sit on YouTube and get your entertainment and knowledge from it. The same thing as well, too. So this is why I say um, it's not affecting as many people. So why would you do this? Um, it's the question of the day. Why would you do this? Most people who watch YouTube are on a mobile or smartphone device. Ninety Around 90% of people are on our mobile or smartphone device. So 90% of people on the platform already are already watching the crazy ads already. They're watching the ads all the time. Even on the Fire Stick. On my Fire Stick, I have YouTube on there. Put YouTube up maybe before I go to bed or something. Just have something up to listen to. Play some music off of it, whatever. I'll hear the ad, okay? It's on my Fire Stick TV. Okay, I'm content with it. I don't want to put no ad blocker on it, on my phone. Like, it's just because those devices are a little bit more convenient sometimes. So, uh, like, I don't, I don't mind having ads on there. And maybe I will become that way, too, if YouTube does this, like, forever on the PC stuff as well, too. It, maybe I'll get used to it. Like, uh, if I'm not streaming and stuff like that and say I'm not making reaction videos and things to that extent, maybe I'll get used to it. Just like I do on my phone, like, just like I do watching it off of my TV with the fire stick. Maybe all these things will come into play and like make the decision based off of that because only like it's. I only use YouTube on my PC probably 30, 40% of the time. And then I'm using the other item 60% of the time. So as of right now, maybe that could have changed may change more in the future. It's just because I use my computer for so many other stuff. So that it, if I only had my computer PC, then it may be more, uh, who knows? Just a lot. There's just a lot of stuff going on. So this overall affects 10.5% of people. And I bet you it's even smaller number than that. Because I can guarantee you that out of the 10.5 people who watch YouTube on YouTube.com on a consistent basis, they consist of streamers, probably other engineers, um... Just people just casually going on it because they're on a work device or something like that. So they just needed to look up something or they're just sharing something real quick. It's nothing. And then they're probably off guest accounts, um, public spaces, like some kid in school is probably on YouTube or whatever. Uh, just this 10% of people, 10 and a half percent of people is a very limited number. It's a very small amount of number. And and that's why I was saying, I guarantee you, not a hundred percent, hundred percent of that ten and a half percent uses ad blockers. There's how many percent of the world are streamers? Yeah, there's a lot of people who want to be streamers. How many of them react? Like, it's not a hundred percent of streamers, it's only a small sliver of streamers. There's only a good like five percent of people of streamers that probably do reactions or something like that because a lot of other people play games and things. Or whatever. Maybe they watch YouTube on their own time and they have ad blocker on. Who knows? Um, but I feel like this is very petty of YouTube to just sit there and try to keep us from blocking ads like that. And we're not even cutting into that much of them. Maybe it's a greedy thing. Who knows? And stuff. Yeah, I understand people have to make their money. But out of that 10.5% of people, to be generous... 50% of them, so probably have ad blocker on. So what, 5% of your customer base and your users are using ad blocker. So yeah, I get you didn't make this change for years and years and years to come, but we are here now and like it can, it's going to piss people off and things. And like I'm going to say, I'm going to bring this up to one of my friends later that streams TK I'm going to ask him how he thinks it's going to affect his reaction content and stuff. And 
one of the things that these streamers are going to have to do that make all these reaction videos or these other YouTubers who don't stream yet, but they do make reaction videos to other people's videos. You have to sit there and ask them, hey, are you going to buy YouTube premium to be able to keep up with your content? How do you feel about this? If that's something that you guys want to see, let me know because I will get whatever streamer or what whoever you want to get on here and figure out this because this is insane. Like, I, I feel like that's just a greedy thing that YouTube's trying to get out of everybody. It's not, it doesn't affect that many people based on the statistics and everything. I doubt this affects many people. So why do it in the first place? And I feel like that's the main question that we're trying to figure out here. Like, why would you do this? Uh, what is the cause of doing this? Uh, like, what's the purpose? What's what's gonna come from this and everything? Like, uh, this this is stuff that I'm trying to figure out, man. Like, uh, just so, just it's just so I'm just so curious about all of the other things that they probably could have worked on rather than just trying to block our ad blocker. And then so it's like it's funny because it's an anti blocker to blockers and things and it's just it's just so funny to, to find that like there's i know there are a lot of article places and subscription places where you're to get news from this article like probably like let's just throw out new york times for an example if you have ad blocker on it senses it and it's like hey can you add it to the allow list because it needs ads for them to make their web their money and what else like that or it's a subscription thing and all this other jazz yeah but i just didn't expect youtube to do it so now youtube's done it i guess they're in the same boat as those article pages and those um news pages and stuff like that uh websites too so yeah like here we are this is what we got to this is how i feel youtube's gonna scale for the next few years we'll see if they just are just doing a test and they'll probably turn it off maybe they're like hey this isn't making much of a difference we can not it's okay we don't need this but yeah let me know what y'all think if youtube if this youtube thing is affecting you and your ad blockers let me know uh we have a discussion about it in the comments drop comments on how you guys feel drop comments if it affects you if you watch your youtube on pc all the time if you don't watch youtube on pc anyways then it, it don't matter to you really like this this does nothing to you at all you're going to continue to enjoy your content at the rate that you was already enjoying it so thank you all for tuning in to another episode this week about to get started on a whole nother one and get lit with that one too but don't forget to share like comment and we're just going to keep going through and just try to be more consistent with everything. So I appreciate you all. Much love. See you next week.